The story begins by introducing a girl named Mean J, who had recently transferred to a new school with the hope of making friends. In her previous school, Mean J had been lonely and didn't have any friends. When she introduced herself at the new school, she initially had a pessimistic outlook, but to her surprise, the other students applauded her. During a break, Mean J felt optimistic about making her first friend. However, her efforts seemed in vain as no one noticed her, which made her a bit discouraged. After some time, a girl named G1 and her friends approached Mean J, expressing their interest in becoming her friends. Mean J couldn't believe that the popular girls in school were inviting her to be their friend. Mean J managed to strike up a conversation with them because she had previously watched a tutorial video on how to communicate with others. As they walked together, Mean J began to feel happy because she was finally becoming known to a few students. Then G1 introduced her male friend to Mean J. However, when she saw a guy named Yi Jun, she felt a bit self-conscious because Yi Jun looked very handsome and was also popular in school. When Mean J introduced herself, Yi Jun simply nodded, which made her a bit nervous. Later, without saying a word, Yi Jun was about to leave, but his bracelet got caught on Mean J's jacket. As it was about to fall, Mean J quickly caught it. She wasn't sure what to do next, but she remembered from a tutorial video to always smile. So she smiled and apologized. Upon hearing this, Yi Jun told Mean J to forget about it and left. After they left, G1 explained that the guy named Hei Jun was Yi Jun's cousin and they had different personalities. Yi Jun was always distant, while Hei Jun was the class president and a kind person. In music class, Min Jae and Yi Jun ended up sitting next to each other, making the situation even more awkward. Then, Min Jae remembered Ji Won's sociable nature, which encouraged her to try and make friends. Min Jae gathered the courage to start a conversation with Yi Jun. However, when she tried to greet him, Yi Jun immediately put on his headset, causing Min Jae to give up on her attempt. Shortly after Mean J found herself in the school office, the teacher there encouraged her to enjoy her new school. The teacher also mentioned that there would be another new student arriving soon. When Mean J saw the new student's profile, she was surprised because the new student had the same name as her. Their photos were different, Mean J still wore glasses, while the other Mean J, whom we'll call you Mean, looked very fashionable. However, the teacher mistakenly thought that Mean J was you Mean. This made Mean J wonder if having friends was because they thought she was Yumin. Because Yumin was a social media influencer with a large following. In the school clinic, Mean J was torn because she had friends now, which made her happy. However, she was also afraid that her true identity would be exposed someday, and she would lose everything. After some time, Hei Jun came to meet her. Hei Jun already knew everything and reassured Mean J that he wouldn't tell anyone her secret. In class, Mean J was approached by her friends who praised her for having many followers. However, they were referring to Yu Min's account, not Min Jae's. When she wanted to confess the truth, they all just wanted to be followed by Min Jae. Seeing this, Min Jae said she wouldn't open her media social today. As Min Jae was leaving school, Hei approached her and offered some help with a few things. She thanked him and thought of him as a kind person. However, Hei told her that he helped her out of pity. In the evening, Min Jae appeared sad because she couldn't be as popular as Yu Min. This made her somewhat frustrated because she shared the same name with the popular girl, and she knew that Yu Min would eventually enter the school and she might be forgotten soon. Sometime later, Min Jae was about to buy some candy, but Yi Jun suddenly appeared and took the candy from her. They were then seen talking outside the store. Yi Jun had misunderstood Min Jae, thinking she was up to something bad, so he prevented her from buying the candy, which he thought was medicine. Then he asked Min Jae's condition. In response, Min Jae asked Yi Jun if he had ever felt like wanting to disappear from this world. Upon hearing that, Yi Jun replied that he wouldn't think about it and would keep on living. The next day, a new student arrived in their class, who turned out to be Yu Min. However, Min Jae was surprised when she saw Yu Min's appearance, because Yu Min dressed like a bookworm. On the other hand, Yu Min was also surprised that there was someone with a name like hers in the class, and it annoyed her a bit. In the restroom, Min Jae gathered the courage to talk to Yu Min. She complimented Yu Min for being very beautiful and having many friends. So Min Jae realized that Yu Min intentionally dressed that way. However, before Yu Min could respond, the school bell rang, and she didn't want to talk to Min Jae anymore as there was nothing to discuss. In the classroom, Min Jae was seen joking around with Ji Won's group. Seeing this, Yu Min imagined herself in the past when she used to be with them, putting on makeup together. However, that was in the past, 
And now Yu Mean considered friends to be worthless. Shortly after, Mean Jae secretly met with Yu Mean. After noticing that the situation was quite private, Yu Mean immediately pulled Mean Jae into the school storage room. There, Mean Jae said she wouldn't bother Yu Mean anymore after following her friend's mistaken beliefs. She confided in Yu Mean, explaining that her friends thought Mean Jae was her. After hearing Mean Jae's story, Yu Mean suggested that Mean Jae should tell the truth so she wouldn't regret it later. However, Mean Jae didn't want her enjoyable days to end just like that. She felt happy when she pretended to be Yu Mean because she got attention from her friends and Yu Mean didn't seem to mind, and she continued pretending to be a shy student. Yu Mean also warned Mean Jae that if she accepted the friend requests, they might see Yu Mean's photos. On the other hand, Hei Jumin and Yi Jumin were sitting together. Hei Jumin suddenly asked Yi Jumin if he was interested in Mean Jae. With a hint of nervousness, Yi Jun replied that he wasn't interested in Mean Jae. Some time later, Ji Won came to meet them and asked what they were talking about. A Jun told her about the rumor regarding Yi Jun being close to Mean Jae. Yi Jun became increasingly annoyed as Ji Won asked about it again. Then, Ji Won invited them to a welcome party for Mean Jae as the new student. Not long after, they were at a karaoke place. After having some fun, Yi Jun asked Mean Jae to sing a song since it was her welcome party. This panicked Mean Jae a bit because she had never been to a karaoke place before. On the other hand, Hei Jun encouraged Yi Jun to sing, but Yi Jun replied that he wouldn't sing in front of others. After finding a suitable song, Mean Jae prepared herself to sing. She also didn't worry too much because after karaoke, she intended to tell them the truth. While Mean Jae sang, they were all amazed by her mysterious voice, and they applauded to boost Mean Jae's confidence. After her performance, Mean Jae excused herself to go to the restroom. Yi Jun, who noticed it, followed her. Some time later, Mean Jae came out of the restroom, and Yi Jun gave her a drink. He complimented Mean Jae's appearance during her singing performance, suggesting that he might be slightly interested in her. Meanwhile, inside the karaoke room, they were having fun. Ji Won and her female friends returned, and Mean Jae followed them back to the group. Hearing this, Mean Jae felt like it was the end of their friendship. However, they noticed that Mean Jae's account had no posts. Seeing this, Mean Jae became curious about why Yu Mean had deleted all of her photos. Not long after, Hei Jun and Yi Jun were seen talking together. Hei Jun reminded Yi Jun about their past incidents, which seemed to involve a disagreement. However, Yi Jun pretended not to care. The following day, they found themselves in the music class. In that room, Mean Jae couldn't help but gaze at Yi Jun. Eventually, they started a conversation that seemed a bit awkward. Later on, Yi Jun kindly offered Mean Jae his earphones so they could enjoy music together, even though they still appeared a bit uncomfortable. At the same time, Ji Won and her friends were busy taking selfies. During this moment, Ji Won realized that Yu Mean was blocking her view from behind, so she politely asked Yu Mean to move over a bit. Yu Mean reluctantly complied, pretending to be a shy student. Once they'd finished taking photos, Yu Mean walked towards them and accidentally stepped on Ji Won's shoe. However, she quickly acted like a timid student and apologized. Not long after, Yu Mean met Mean Jae on the school rooftop. Mean Jae expressed her gratitude to Yu Mean for helping her out. However, Yu Mean advised Mean Jae not to spend too much time with them, as it could be risky. Yu Mean also noticed that Mean Jae was quite studious. Therefore, she suggested that Mean Jae should consult her before making any decisions. Before leaving, Mean Jae asked for help once more, pleading with Yu Mean to tutor her, because her grades were not doing well. The next day, Mean Jae was seen hanging out with her friends and Ji Won asked Mean Jae about the agency that accepted her because she had sung at one before. This question left Mean Jae feeling even more confused. When she looked at Yu Mean, Yu Mean signaled her to stay quiet. Later that evening, Mean Jae was returning from shopping when she unexpectedly ran into Yi Jun. They exchanged glances, which made them both a bit embarrassed, causing them to hide briefly. However, they gathered the courage to approach each other and decided to walk home together. Yi Jun began to show interest in Mean Jae, but he was still too shy to openly express it. The following day, Mean Jae and her friends got together for a physical education class. Ji Won noticed Mean Jae's shoes and was surprised because she also wanted a pair. However, they were too expensive for her. Ji Won forgot the brand of the shoes and asked Mean Jae about it. Mean Jae, who wasn't very knowledgeable about fashion, honestly admitted that her shoes weren't very expensive, and she didn't know the brand. This led them to assume that Mean Jae's shoes might be fake, which made Mean Jae feel a little sad. 
However, out of nowhere, Yijun appeared and mentioned that he was wearing the same shoes as Meme J. Then, one of Yijun's friends arrived and jokingly asked if they were secretly dating, which shifted their attention away from Meme J's shoes. Shortly after, Meme J and Yumin were inside the school storage room, having a conversation. While talking, they heard someone approaching. Meme J quickly hid, and it turned out to be Hei Jun. Just as Yumin was about to leave, Hei Jun stopped her and expressed his desire to join their secret group. Eventually, they formed a group and Hei Jun shared with them that on the school forum, there were discussions about Meme Jade wearing fake shoes. As a result, whenever Meme Jade walked through the school hallway, she would be stared at with skepticism by other students. Back in the classroom, G1, who had seen Meme Jade earlier, immediately apologized for her earlier remarks during physical education. However, Meme Jade didn't hold it against her. During this time, Meme Jade overheard what other students were saying and felt sorry for G1, who was always kind-hearted. Sometime later, Yumin received a social media notification in which G1 tagged Yumin's account and made comments that made it seem like she was always apologizing, which make Yumin puzzled. On the other hand, Hei Jun was observed gathering information from G1's friend named Daye using his charm. Hei Jun obtained information from Daye about the issues between G1 and Min Jae. The following day, G1 was surprised to see her post being shared by Yumin where Yumin advised her not to talk to her anymore. G1 initially thought it was Min Jae and was a bit shocked because Min Jae, who appeared innocent, had said something like that. Meanwhile, Yumin was seen smiling after reposting G1's story. Shortly after, Min Jae approached her as they had plans to meet up. Yumin had been helping Min Jae understand fashion better, and she even suggested character t-shirts that would suit her. While they were at a cafe, Min Jae looked happy because it was her first time visiting one. Seeing her happiness, Yumin asked if she had never been to a cafe before. This question made Min Jade appear a bit down, because even though she was considered popular at school, she had never been to a cafe. Noticing Min Jade's sadness, Yumin quickly took a photo of her and encouraged her to change her profile picture. Elsewhere, Yi Jun saw Min Jade's profile picture and planned to send her a message. However, his plan was thwarted when Hei Jun arrived and caught him hiding something. Hei Jun also had a secret that he was the one posting anonymously on their school forum. The next day, they all gathered and discussed someone Da Ye had a crush on, but Da Ye was too shy to admit it. Ji Won mentioned that she had become friends with Hei Jun and Yi Jun, but everyone found it hard to get to know them as Yi Jun always kept his distance. Hearing this, Min Jade understood that Yi Jun behaved that way with everyone, making her doubt the possibility of becoming friends with him. As they entered the school, Min Jae witnessed Yi Jun being scolded by a teacher for dressing like a college student. She commented that Yi Jun's attire was too casual, causing problems with the teachers. Min Jae suggested that Yi Jun occasionally wear the school uniform correctly. Some time later, Min Jae was woken up by her friend, and when she looked towards the door, she saw Yi Jun dressed neatly. It reminded Min Jae of her previous advice to Yi Jun about dressing properly and make her happy. Yi Jun met Min Jae and handed her a music cassette showing that he was following her suggestion to wear the school uniform correctly. Not long after, Min Jae came to the classroom wearing the t-shirt she had purchased with Yumin. Ji Won, who noticed it, made a comment about Min Jae's clothing, making her feel a little embarrassed about her choice. However, the responses from the other students were different, as it turned out that some of the students liked Min Jae's t-shirt. Ae Jun also mentioned that the clothing suited Min Jae well and was quite expensive. Eventually, Min Jae, who had initially felt down, regained her confidence thanks to her friend's support. The next day, Min Jae met Yi Jun and gave him a gift as he had given her one before. She gave him a movie ticket, but just one. Upon seeing this, Yi Jun suggested that they go together. After school, Ji Won asked Min Jae to go with her to the clothing store Min Jae had mentioned, but Min Jae couldn't because she already had plans with Yi Jun. Upon hearing this, Ji Won said that there might be a chance that Yi Jun was starting to like Min Jae, and she was willing to help Min Jae in this regard. The following day at school, Min Jae received a message from Ji Won, saying that she wanted to talk to her. Meanwhile, Ae Jun and Yi Jun were entering school. Ae Jun noticed that Yi Jun seemed different and asked if he was happy now. However, Yi Jun replied that he was still the same as always. Ae Jun sensed that Yi Jun was lying and got annoyed with him. At the same time, Yumi met Min Jae and Min Jae talked about her dilemma between friendship and love. This reminded Yumin of her past experience, 
where she had also faced difficulties with friendship and love. Min Jae then expressed her preference for being friends with Ji Won. She then gave her movie ticket to Ji Won so that she could go on a date with Hee Joon. Yu Min got angry with Min Jae, believing that Min Jae was deceiving her own feelings. Yu Min then made a plan and called Hee Joon. Not long after, Min Jae surprised Hee Joon by showing up, accompanied by Hee Joon. Before watching the movie, they had a shootout game, and Min Jae displayed her sports talent, even though she wasn't strong academically. Afterward, they watched the movie. Hee Joon acted affectionate with Min Jae, making her uncomfortable and sparking jealousy in Yee Joon. As they were about to leave, Hee Joon invited Ji Won to go home with him. Ji Won was initially confused, but Hee Joon quickly took her hand and led her away. At the bus stop, Ji Won realized that Hee Joon had done this deliberately. Hee Joon casually mentioned that Ji Won didn't actually like Yee Joon, but was pretending. He also suggested that Ji Won didn't like Min Jae. Ji Won denied it and told Hee Joon not to act childish. Before leaving, Hei Jun warned Ji Won not to cross the line. Elsewhere, Yi Jun and Min Jae were seen talking while walking home. Min Jae asked if Yi Jun actually wanted to ask her out. Yi Jun then thought to himself that it might be true because Min Jae was someone he could talk to and laugh with. Min Jae also hoped that she was the only one who could make him laugh, but neither of them expressed these feelings. As Min Jae was about to leave, Yi Jun gathered the courage to say that he was happy Min Jae had come to the meeting. The following day at school, the teacher announced that exams would be happening soon. The teacher mistakenly congratulated Min Jae, thinking she had received a perfect score. But it was actually Yu Min who had achieved that because Min Jae wasn't very academically inclined. During break time, Min Jae and her friends were headed to the cafeteria, but Ji Won declined the invitation, citing her digestive problems when stressed. Upon hearing this, Min Jae decided to bring her some bread to prevent Ji Won from getting sick. Ji Won was a bit puzzled, wondering if Min Jae's kindness was genuine or just an act. After they left, Ji Won started reminiscing about when Min Jae had just transferred to their school. Initially, Ji Won had been confident that Min Jae was an ordinary girl who couldn't outshine her in seeking attention. However, Ji Won began to feel annoyed because all of Min Jae's actions seemed to draw everyone's attention to her. In the evening, Min Jae was seen studying with Yu Min. Yu Min kept scolding her because Min Jae wasn't fully focused on studying, and her grades needed improvement. However, Min Jae struggled to concentrate, and her innocent nature made Yu Min feel comfortable having her as a study partner. Meanwhile, Ji Won came across Yu Min's social media post featuring a picture of Min Jae studying diligently, which received positive responses from her followers. Feeling threatened, Ji Won called her friend Dadie to meet up. Sometime later, they met, and Ji Won knew that Dadie had feelings for Hei Jun so she confided in Dadie about a secret they both shared. Ji Won revealed that Yi Jun had asked her out, and Min Jae's secret that she was dating Hei Jun. Upon hearing the secret Ji Won had shared, Dadie was somewhat surprised. It seemed like Min Jae was betraying their friendship, but Dadie suspected that it was all a lie created by Ji Won out of jealousy towards Min Jae. The following day, Min Jae was chatting with Hei Jun and Yi Jun when she spotted Ji Won and her friends. She approached them and invited them to the cafeteria. However, their response had changed, and Daige mentioned that Min Jae paid too much attention to her male friends and neglected them. At the cafeteria, Min Jae ended up eating alone and learned that she had been excluded from Ji Won and her friends group. Ae Jun arrived and suggested it was time to retaliate, and Ae Jun also joined them. This led to gossip among the other students, speculating that Min Jae had managed to attract both popular boys in their school. Seeing this, Min Jae quickly left. After her departure, Hei Jun insisted it was time to resolve the issue and told Yi Jun not to interfere, but Yi Jun agreed to do whatever was necessary. On the other hand, Min Jae confided her worries to Yu Min, still unaware of the truth. Yu Min revealed that their intention was indeed to dislike Min Jae, so she didn't need to blame herself. The next day, Min Jae couldn't stop thinking about her friends suddenly turning against her. Yi Jun noticed Min Jae looking down and tried to console her, which made Min Jae smile happily. It was at this point that Min Jae began to realize her feelings for Yi Jun were growing stronger. In the evening, Hei Jun approached Ji Won and Dae. He pretended to have feelings for Ji Won and asked Dae to leave first, leaving her feeling somewhat dejected. When they were alone, Ji Won questioned why Hei Jun was acting this way when she knew Dae had feelings for him. Hei Jun admitted that he had done something similar to Ji Won, 
where he had lied about being close to Meme J. He also mentioned that he had a secret that only he knew. The following day after their sports class, they were shocked to hear a rumor circulating that G1's old photos had been shared within their school group. This revelation made the students in the class feel deceived, because G1 hadn't been very attractive in the past. G1 felt like her world had crumbled as the secret she had been guarding had been exposed. She began to realize that this was all the work of Hei Jun. G1 started reminiscing about her past when she used to be bullied at school. She remembered meeting Hei Jun at the bus stop which marked the beginning of their friendship. They both shared the desire to be the best. Their friendship had continued to this day, and G1 had even managed to become the top student in her class. However, G1 believed it had all changed when Mean Jae joined their class. Then Yi Jun confronted Hei Jun and assumed he was behind all of this, recalling that Hei Jun had done something similar to him in the past. They used to be best friends, but everything had changed when Yi Jun started spending time with other friends making Hei Jun feel unimportant. One day, Yi Jun discovered a video on Hei Jun's laptop, where they had all sung for some audition, but no one knew about it. In class, it turned out that Hei Jun had played the video on the big screen, and the other students laughed when they saw it. This upset Yi Jun, who immediately stopped the video and was very angry with Hei Jun for embarrassing him. Yi Jun then told Hei Jun that he hadn't changed at all. Hei Jun defended himself saying he only wanted to help Yi Jun because he didn't know anything. In response, Yi Jun told Hei Jun that he was the one who didn't know anything. Not long after, Hei Jun began to realize that his past actions were merely for his amusement, as he could uncover other people's secrets. However, meeting Mean Jae changed things. Initially, Hei Jun had wanted to play with Mean Jae's secrets, but over time, he began to be acknowledged by Mean Jae and Yu Mean. And this made Hei Jun realize that his friends valued him and Mean Jae's sincerity and innocence had also influenced him. In a secret storage room, Hei Jun told Yu Mean that he did the action to make everyone angry with Ji Won, and also because Yu Mean disliked him. Mean Jae arrived and asked why Hei Jun did that to Ji Won, who was her friend. Mean Jae considered Hei Jun a good friend, but was also afraid he might do the same thing to her. In the evening, Hei Jun, who had been waiting for Mean Jae, expressed that he was in a bad mood and missed her but Mean Jae couldn't find words to respond. As Yi Jun was about to leave, Mean Jae stopped him and invited him to go to the karaoke to improve his mood. At the karaoke, Mean Jae realized that Yi Jun didn't like to sing, but he told her about his past and how Hei Jun had once annoyed him. Yi Jun was afraid of being laughed at, which is why he promised not to sing in front of others. After hearing Yi Jun's confession, Mean Jae tried to cheer him up with a song. Slowly, Yi Jun began to smile and even sang in front of Mean Jae, which made her reminisce about their time together. After he finished singing, Mean Jae intended to reveal her secret, but changed her mind out of fear of being disliked by Yi Jun. Suddenly, Yi Jun confessed his feelings to Mean Jae, saying he enjoyed the days spent with her. This left Mean Jae confused because she hadn't been honest about her secret with Yi Jun yet. She then asked him for some time to think about it. In the evening, Mean Jae called Yu Mean and excitedly told her that Yi Jun had asked her out. She felt happy and knew that she couldn't have done it without Yu Min's help. So she thanked Yu Min sincerely. The next day, Yi Jun and his friend, Kim Sung, walked over to Min Jae's class. Kim Sung asked about Ji Won's whereabouts, but Min Jae hadn't seen her either. Yi Jun entrusted a gift and some food to Min Jae to leave on Ji Won's desk. Later, when Hei Jun arrived, Kim Sung tried to call him but Hei Jun left because their relationship was still strained. Meanwhile, Ji Won was talking to her friend, who encouraged her to get to know a popular guy to improve her image and avoid being underestimated. Shortly after, Ji Won asked Mean Jae for a private conversation. Mean Jae began by noting that Ji Won had changed. She hoped they could still be friends like before. In response, Ji Won thanked Mean Jae for being nice to her and then mentioned her upcoming blind date, which involved someone famous from Mean Jae's previous school. Mean Jae was puzzled because she hadn't received permission from Yu Mean to answer the invitation, so she made an excuse and said she would check with her friend first. Later on, Mean Jae met Yu Mean and inquired about someone famous from her previous school. This unexpectedly angered Yu Mean, as she had negative memories associated with that person. Mean Jae was left confused because Yu Mean suddenly acted distant and unfriendly. Afterward, Yu Mean regretted her harsh words, realizing she shouldn't have hurt Mean Jae. However, she couldn't help it because that name had triggered painful memories from her past. 
The following day, news about Min Jae and Yoon Jin had spread throughout the school, and it seemed like all the students were distancing themselves from Min Jae. Yi Jun, who had heard about it, decided to take Min Jae out of her class. When they were alone, the atmosphere was awkward. Yi Jun told Min Jae that she could talk to him whenever she was ready to share her problems. He also mentioned with a smile that when they met again, he would ask her to stop being friends. Meanwhile, Ji Won met with Hei Jun and he apologized for his past actions, but Ji Won was still skeptical, thinking there might be another motive. However, this time, Hei Jun genuinely regretted what he had done and promised not to hurt anyone again. He also encouraged Ji Won to stop obsessing over being number one. This reminded Ji Won of her conversation with Yoon Jin, who had confessed that Min Jae had ruined his career. Hearing this, Ji Won finally realized Min Jae's true nature. But just as she was about to show a photo, she hesitated, feeling that Yoon Jin might not be trustworthy. Not long after, Yoon Min isolated herself for a few days. When she finally left her room, she found a food basket and a letter, both from Min Jae. Yoon Min was touched by Min Jae's concern and encouragement. On the other hand, Min Jae continued to visit Yoon Min's house to deliver food, and they finally met again. Min Jae was seen crying because she didn't know what had happened to her friend, and she urged Yu Min to return to school with her beauty, wanting to prove that the rumors were not Yu Min's fault, and that Yu Min was the victim. Some time later, Ji Won was on the phone with Min Jae, seeking her assistance. On another occasion, Ji Won encountered Yoon Jin, who turned out to have an angry and manipulative personality, leaving Ji Won frightened. Fortunately, Min Jae and Yu Min arrived just in time to help. Yoon Jin also met Yu Min and accused her of ruining his career. However, Yu Min felt she hadn't done anything wrong and clarified that it wasn't her fault. Yoon Jin explained that such actions were normal in a relationship, but Yu Min firmly told him to stop and revealed she had recorded their conversation. She also warned him not to bother them again. The following day, Yu Min and Min Jade were preparing for school, and Yu Min seemed to have regained her confidence. As they walked together, Min Jae noticed Yi Jun walking alone and approached him. She had decided to confess the truth, admitting to deceiving her friends, including Yi Jun, by pretending to be the popular Min Jae instead of the bookworm Min Jae. In response, Yi Jun asked her to stop being friends, and she thanked him for everything, ready to leave. However, Yi Jun stopped her and revealed that he no longer considered her a friend but as his girlfriend, which made them look happy. In the classroom, Min Jae also confessed the truth to her friends and Yu Min decided to delete her social media account, even if it meant losing many followers to lead a normal student's life. Some time later, Min Jae and Yi Jun were seen spending time together as an official couple. Moral lesson of the story, it's better to be yourself and have genuine friends who accept you for who you are, rather than pretending to be someone else and not understanding anything about the clothes we wear.